Von Miller in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure, and these sacks are starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. They give it to Peterson. And he is out of bounds up around the 14-yard line. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. On third down, Rosen. Robert's got it. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Handoff comes to Peterson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now, after that last running play, we've got an offensive lineman down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. From the gun, it's Rosen. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. From the gun on third down, it's Rosen. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Roberts. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And points result, we'll call this play significant. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Rosen. Roberts with it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. From the shotgun, it's Rosen. Caught Eifert over the middle. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Play action here with Rosen. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Chase Young able to record his fifth sack of the season. But, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Rosen. The reception good for seven. It's third down. And now it's Rosen looking. This one incomplete. Probably should have been picked. A little nonchalant with a throw to the safety valve, but it's fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. 
Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing. And for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. Kaepernick now on first down. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. From the gun, it's Kaepernick. This complete to Lockett. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now Kaepernick returning right back to Lockett. Some extra space following the display of power down just inside the 45. And Charles, this infraction is going to be against the offense. False start. Sometimes you have to get up to the line of scrimmage. Make sure your team is set before you begin your cadence. Maybe anticipating a blitz and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up and they jumped. Here's Kaepernick. On the right side open is Gasicki. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Again, it's Kaepernick. Caught on the left side, Fitzgerald. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Kaepernick. He'll get this to Jake Funk out of the backfield. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard in its second down. Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. Throw left side here, complete to the tight end, Gesicki. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. They'll run on first down. Funk. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Throwing now is Kaepernick. He went backwards seven yards, setting up a tough third down. number nine on the drive coming up and they need nine yards on third down to throw it's Kaepernick that's complete to the running back Funk and he is out of bounds right around the 10 yard line we can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn it's also a game of mismatches and they're trying to create one there getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play as we often say get it to him in space let him use his leg yeah if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz he's going to win that battle just about every time To throw is Kaepernick. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. 
They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. And it's caught. Touchdown. Larry Fitzgerald. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Caps are able to extend their lead. Well, there was a little extra pressure with that one because it was third down. He didn't care. He snagged it with one hand like it was routine. The key is to make a play in a tough situation. Doesn't matter how. And in this case, one-handed gets it done. Terrific play for us to watch. Now Zerline on and the extra point. This one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that drive spans 13 plays. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. They trail now 14 to 3, an 11-point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. Here's Rosen to throw. He'll drop this down to Peterson. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Rosen saying, let's go, guys, faster. Clock is running here. It's caught by Roberts. That catch good for five. It's third down. Looking to throw. He's got his man sharp, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the broken tackle. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. They want to go to the air again with Rosen. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Caught by Sanu. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. They'll look to throw on first down with Josh Rosen. He finds his man complete. It's Peterson. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. From the 41, Rosen. Got a man here. It's Roberts. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. And it's caught. Touchdown. as the first half is winding down. And the Bulls are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. And that's a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone, so give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. A try here for the extra point. He's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. 
So that drive consumes nine plays all told. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Here's Hardman on the return. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. As they take over here with 11 seconds remaining. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, time for a trip around the league on this final weekend of September. All right, folks eager to get back to this week four matchup. We won't put up a fight. So the halftime break behind us, and we are back underway with a third quarter of action. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And this offense set to go now to begin the third quarter. down is Kaepernick. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Kaepernick now to throw. Can't get away and he's taken down. Melvin Ingram able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball got super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. Here's third and long. Kaepernick needing a big play to counteract the sack. He'll drop to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up four. That's be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. And on now is the punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. 39 yards on the punt, give him just one yard on the return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, OK, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced the punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. That catch good for only a couple. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. And that means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. To throw again on second down. Rosen. That is caught. It's Tajay Sharp. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this. But they need just a few inches here on third. They'll run it. Here's Peterson. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. He loses four, and it brings up fourth. 
After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. And yeah, this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. And yeah, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Now left side on the swing pass. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Now Kaepernick. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. And they bring their punter out there now, standing just outside his own goal line. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in. Pressure comes and down goes Rosen. Joe Tryon in there to record another sack, and that is now six on the afternoon for this defensive unit. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Roberts has it. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up the third down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Rosen will throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Peterson. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They go play action. It's Rosen. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Rosen off the play action. It's complete to Eifert. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Play fake. Here's Rosen. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Now Rosen. Getting it out left side to Sanu. 
That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Laundry on the field. This is going to be a false start on the offense. Sometimes you have to slow things down a little bit when things get heated. The cadence has to be slow and deliberate at times to make sure your team's ready to go. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the false start. To throw is Rosen. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. And he'll go down inside the 15 at his own 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. So after the INT, it's Kaepernick. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. Here's Kaepernick to throw. And he's going to go down. Back in his own five-yard line. It's a sack. Quinny Pay picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up. Back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle? Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. you got to try and find some space for your punter because you don't want him backed up where he has to alter what he does. Here's third and long. Kaepernick needing a big play to counteract the sack. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. They get 15, but they still need it a little bit more. Fourth down, so they bring out their putter as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now Rosen looking to throw. Got a man right side. It's sharp. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Rosen on first and 10. Finds Roberts left side. A gain of six there on first. Play action, Rosen. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Rosen to throw again. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. 
Here's Rosen. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. And this offense on third down today, they've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is third and ten. And now it's Rosen looking. Caught Eifert over the middle. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. And I think Eifert may be in some pain, staying down following that play. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Andy Reid, some say always unpredictable, and here he says, we're going for it on fourth down. Running for it, here's Peterson. And this is going to come up well short as they stop him on fourth down. Adrian Peterson as good as they come, but here he can't get the first. And as a result, possession switches hands. Kaepernick now on first down. They'll lock him with a grab over the middle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And Antonio Brown yet to get back on his feet. Apparently shaking up that last play. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Now Kaepernick. Under pressure and down he goes. Melvin Ingram. In there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. Here's third and long. Kaepernick needing a big play to counteract the sack. He'll look to throw. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. So now it appears they're going to accept the penalty, which means take away the interception. Also means keep your defense on the field. Don't understand this one one bit. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Kaepernick going to throw. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Now an open man. That's the tight end, Gesicki. It's complete. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. To throw, Kaepernick. This will be caught by Brown. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Into the red zone now, Kaepernick. And they're going to get him. He sacked back around the 28. Quinny Payne able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational, CD. That is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. 
it's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. Throwing now is Kaepernick. And that is incomplete. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And Zerline's kick is good. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17 10. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And last time they were stopped on fourth down, had a drive stalled out. We'll see how they respond this go around. I'm eager to see what their mindset is because moving the ball, feeling good, and then that abrupt stop on fourth down, do they go back to the bench and go, oh, boy, they got something for us? Or do they go to the bench and say, we blew it ourselves. Let's get back out there and move the ball again. And is it different when you get stopped on fourth versus punt? Is that more motivation for the defense and more confidence? I think as a defense, you're so excited with a fourth down stop. Making a punt, that's your goal anyway. But a fourth down stop, that's almost a sign of disrespect that they went for it in the first place. And when you get that, you feel great about yourselves. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now it's Rosen. This is caught. It's Sanu. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Here's Rosen to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off at the 33. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Oh, that's about as tough as they come. You're driving to try to put the ball in the end zone and tie the game, and that happens. It's exciting for us, wasn't it? Because we were thinking, hey, we might be headed towards overtime. Instead, it looks like this one may very well be done. And guess what? If you're a fantasy owner and you have that defense, you just had a big, big game, didn't you? Zerline now for the PAT. And the lead is up to 14. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Back onto the field comes the offense as we zero in on Josh Rosen. And this is unfortunately for him a montage he's probably not going to want to keep here for his files. And I'm not so sure that he would describe it as a spotlight, although it is beating down on him pretty well, as is the rush. He's been hit, harassed, uncomfortable. It's been a really, really tough day for him. Been sacked six times. See all that pressure coming from all angles. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. He'll drop this down to Peterson. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical. And you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Play action here with Rosen. Letting one go deep for Roberts. And it's caught. Touchdown. Andre Roberts, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bulls have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. 
No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this, and I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. He's got it, and it's 24-17. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Here's Hardman on the return. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. To throw is Kaepernick. Left side complete to lock it. And he's brought down. Another nice pick up through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. So it's our visitors with the football as we get your reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. On first down. Funk, and he's got Rome. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. And they take a knee. Second and 11 now. And they give this time to the tailback. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. And the ball game should end here on the kneel down by Kaepernick. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors. And I tell you, this was a fun one, just a close game. Nothing comes easy in this league, as you know. They had to work for that victory. I've got to go back to what you just said. Nothing comes easy in this league. How many times have we talked to coaches prior to a game and assessed, you know, the strengths, the weaknesses, the whole deal? Even in games when one coach was a decided favorite, what do they always say to us? But you do know, this is really a seven-point league. Seven points either way usually decides a ball game. We had exactly that in this one. And not only that, but this is a gutsy road victory, one they can hang their hat on. 
So for our visitors, hey, they finish a perfect month of September as they move to 4-0 and on the new campaign. And they'll get another road date next week. Meanwhile, for the home team here, the defeat is their first of the year as they drop to 3-1. and And they'll try again next week at home against New England. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.